welcome back to another video. I wanted to make a video today about lures and my favourite lure at the moment. So you've probably seen me use these before and you will see me use these a lot. This is the Rapala Extra Pita, Pito. Um, the paddle tail one, not the curly tail one. I prefer this one for some reason, it just catches me a lot more fish. But these things are fantastic. This was a lure for me that really changed my lure fishing when I discovered these and bought these for the first time. I, I found something that I had a lot of confidence in and that worked. The bigger size is the one that I go for. So this is 20 or 22 centimeters. I think it's about 80, 90 gram. So they cast really well. They work really well. They have an incredible action, but they catch all sizes of pike. So you'll get pound jacks on these up to whatever, everything attacks these. If you're one of those people that doesn't have confidence in a certain lure, because I remember when I started and I was changing lure after every other cast and nothing was working for me, this was what changed it for me. I, I go a whole session without changing one of these because I know it will catch and I catch a lot on these. So I wanted to use this today and show you what they're all about really, give you a bit of action, show me catch some fish on them. But as I said, you'll see me catch a lot on these. So they are my favourite lure at the moment. A lot of my best fish on these. Yeah, there we go. Oh, first cast in this spot. On the Rapala. Always the net, always on the wrong side. Oh, he's only just hooked. Tiny jack pike. But he goes to show on those lures you'll still catch these guys, it doesn't put them off. He absolutely nailed that first cast. Great start. So you might be wondering why I've got a different tail on this to the front. So basically, all these have interchangeable tails, so you just unclip the split ring, the tail comes off really easily, you have pre-made slots in them, and you can just pop on any tail. So part of the reason I've done that is just to make something that looks a bit different. I wanted to try something a bit different today. And also, I really like that they have the bright ends on them. So today, it's rained overnight so the water's more coloured. So I want the dark profile of the body, but I still want that really bright tail. That's my theory behind why I've got it rigged like this. Something that's great about these, work them really slowly and the tail still kicks the loads. So they're great in the winter when the fish aren't active and you can just retrieve them really slowly and the tail will still wiggle. The faster you retrieve them, the more the body will wobble. So if you retrieve it slow, it's just the tail. But if you pull it fast, the body will rotate like this. So it creates so much motion in the water whether you're pulling it slowly or ripping it through. And I tend to just retrieve them, really. Um, you can stop and pause them. That works, obviously, as it does with most lures. But if you're not that advanced with lure vision, just cast these out, wind them in, and you'll catch fish. You don't need to vary retrieve speed if you're not advanced. You don't need to pause, jerk, switch. Just cast them out reel them in and you'll catch fish.
this lake actually has loads of lilies on it in the summer. I do have the advantage of knowing where they are. I just want to know where the shallow spots are on this lake. But there's still a lot of weed beds that hit under the water that I just didn't know were there before. Something you should always try and do when you're low fishing is just map the lake in your head. So when you hit bottom or you hit a weed bed, just make a mental note of it. And pretty quickly you'll start to build up a picture of how the lake looks, its features, that sort of thing. It's going to help you catch a lot more fish. Also, that's also an advantage of fishing in the winter, when everything's died back. Yeah, the fishing's not as good, but you get a better idea of where things are and how the lake feels when it's naked and there's not weed. Some patches could be quite deep, but there could be four foot of weed on top of that patch. So when you fish it in the summer, you think it's shallow, but then you come in the winter and you suddenly, suddenly got six foot of water there. It's come out in the net. Look at that. Here we go. This is one hungry little boy. Absolutely crushed that. Again, on the Rapala. Catch these all day. So I'll just quickly show you, obviously the tail is really soft plastic, so if you see, just there, you can see where the teeth marks are, obviously where this has been nailed a few times. But the tails are replaceable, um, the, body, the body holds up really well. So it's scuffed, but you can't tell at all from a distance no big chips in the paintwork at all it's more just a texture thing you can feel where the teeth marks have been it doesn't actually affect the look of the lure at all it's just the tails you need to watch out for but you can get lure glue now that will just fix that and glue it back together or you get a replacement towel with them that will just go straight on there after you pull the split ring off the main downside with these is actually just the price of them so these are 17 pound um, UK money so if you're using them, make sure you're using that heavy braid, 60 pound I use, and rods that can cast them, because you need to be able to pull these out of snags. Losing these is not a good feeling, I've lost a few of them, and it, it's something you only do once or twice really. So just make sure you've got the tackle to handle them, and handle the fish that you're probably going to catch on them as well.
Yeah, that's a fish. That feels alright as well. Stay on. Oh, that's a nice one. Just weighed this fish, 13 pound. Out of a tiny lake. <laughs> Absolutely crushed it. So, thanks for watching. If you made it this far, like, subscribe. It's gonna be loads more coming now. Now the weather's warming up. I've got the bugs so bad again. Just wanna be out fishing all the time. Uh, I'm really glad I caught those smaller two fish today. Just to show you that he catches all sizes of fish. And I actually think that big fish I caught might have been the biggest one in that pond because that pond was tiny. So, yeah, great day just for a few hours worth. So worth getting out at the moment. See you in the next video.